Hey Tadpole Campers! My name is Stitch and I'm the director of Tadpole Camp. I've been coming to camp for 15 years and I love it! I'm so sad that we won't be together this year, but some of the things that I'm going to miss most about camp are the canoeing and the meals and the dining hall and the crafts and, and um, oh yeah, the swimming and the field games and Oh yeah, and don't forget polar bear swim. And uh, oh, but the best thing that I'm going to miss out about camp this year is being able to share all my lovely experiences of Camp Loren with all of you. I'm so again, I'm so sad that we're going to be we're not going to be able to be together this year. But it'll be bigger and better next year. Hello, campers. My name is Pale, and I love doing games at the Tadpole Camp. I'm really going to miss camp this summer. Most of all, I'm going to miss jumper duty, doing dishes together with campers and staff, singing songs in the dining hall. I really hope to see everybody back at camp next summer in 2021. Hi campers! Welcome to your first week of Camp Loren at home. This week's virtual camp is Tadpole Camp. This camp is formulated for campers aged 6 to 8 years old. But fear not, if you're not in that age group, you can absolutely participate as well. This week's theme is footprints. To start off, I'm going to read you a scripture. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. And that is from Deuteronomy 31, 18. So now I want you to move your eyes down and look at your feet. How many toes do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten toes. You, can you wiggle your toes? Can you point your toes? Isn't it so great that God gave us feet? What can you do with your feet? Hmm, I think that you can dance, climb, run, walk, or even skip with your feet. Or maybe squish your toes in mud. Isn't that so cool that God gave us feet? Now I'm gonna read you a poem. This poem is called Footprints in the Sand. One night I dreamed a dream as I was walking along the beach with my Lord. Across the dark sky flashed scenes from my life. For each scene, I noticed two sets of footprints in the sand, one belonging to me and one to my Lord. After the last scene of my life flashed before me, I looked back at the footprints in the sand. I noticed that at many times along the path of my life, especially at my very lowest and saddest times, there was only one set of footprints. This really troubled me, so I asked the Lord about it. Lord, you said once I decided to follow you, you'd walk with me all the way. But I noticed that during the saddest and most troublesome times in my life, there was only one set of footprints. I don't understand why, when I needed you the most, you would leave me. He whispered, my precious child, I love you. I will never leave you, never ever during your trials and testings. When there was only one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you. Have you ever been to the beach or played in the sand? What happens when you run around in it? That's right, you leave footprints in the sand. Have you ever tried to run in your parents' giant footsteps that they leave? Perhaps in the sand or maybe even the mud? When you and your parent are playing in the sand, how many sets of footprints are there? Two pairs of footprints, you're right. What happens if you fall and get hurt and your parent picks you up and carries you the rest of the way? How many footprints will you see in the sand then? Hmm, one pair of footprints, yeah. Since they are carrying you, there's only one set of footprints. Now let's talk about that. We like to be brave and strong campers. We are all learning to do so many things on our own as we grow, but sometimes we need our parents' help. Sometimes we need our family to hold us tight, cuddle us, give us a kiss, or even carry us on their back. 
and that's okay. That's what parents are here for because they love you so much. That's how it is with God, our heavenly parent. Sometimes in our lives, God walks beside us and holds our hand. Other times, especially if we are feeling sad or upset, he may carry us. Sometimes we don't feel God around, but he is always there and he will carry us when we are down. That's when we see just one set of footprints in the sand. Now, let's finish off by bowing our heads in prayer. Dear Heavenly Parent, thank you for our feet. Thank you for our 10 tiny toes and the love that grows and grows. We know that you are always with us, carrying us when we need you. We love you. Amen. For our activity this week, we're going to be making salt Play-Doh. Once you've made your Play-Doh, we invite you to make your handprints or even footprints in the Play-Doh and then share it with us through social media. So in order to make our Play-Doh, we're gonna need a few things. The first thing is a big bowl and a wooden spoon. Then the ingredients that we're gonna use are flour, boiling water, ask your parent for help with that, salt, cream of tartar, and vegetable oil. And then also you can use food coloring to make it colorful if you'd like. To begin, we're going to put all of our ingredients into our bowl. You might want to ask your parents for help with this one because you need to measure some ingredients. So to start, we're going to take two cups of flour and put it into our bowl. Next, we're going to take half a cup of salt and add that to our bowl. And then we're going to take two tablespoons of cream of tartar and add that to our bowl. And then we're gonna mix it all up. Once that's all mixed up, we're going to take a cup and a half of boiling water. Remember, be careful, this is hot and we're gonna add the food coloring, if we choose to use it, to the water. I'm gonna use blue, and I'm gonna do one, two, three, four drops of blue food coloring. Once we have all of this combined, I'm going to mix up our water so that the color's in all of it. And then, when we come back to our bowl, we're going to add two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And then comes the kind of tricky part. You have to add the water slowly while mixing and make sure you don't add too much because you want it to be the perfect softness for your Play-Doh. So let's start. Let's add this much to start. Oop, we almost got a drip there. And let's mix that together. So at this point, it's kind of clumpy not quite Play-Doh texture yet, so I think we're gonna add a little bit more water. Catch our drip, and then we're gonna mix it again. Once it's wet enough that it can form a ball like this, then you're probably done adding water. Once your consistency is like this, whoop, <laughs> then you're gonna take it and put it in your fridge for about five minutes to let it cool down. Once it's had a chance to cool, you can form it into a ball like this and then knead it out on the table. Once you've kneaded out your Play-Doh and rolled it into a ball, I've done the next step and I squished it down so it's like a big fat pancake. And then once you have it like that, big enough that it'll fit your hand, you can press your hand into it Make sure you press all your fingers down so they get in there really good. And then you have a handprint. If you take part in our activity this week and make a handprint or a footprint or just a super awesome Play-Doh sculpture, we want to see it. Ask your parents if it's all right and get them to send us a picture or even a video through Instagram, Facebook, or email. Our email account is on the screen right here. 
If you send us a picture or a video of you participating in our activity, your name will be entered into a draw to win a super cool camp prize. I hope you enjoyed virtual tadpole camp. My name is Sparkle and I'm so excited to see all of the fun Play-Doh creations that you make this week. Bye for now!